Alrighty, we're back. So the first one we're going to test is this USB cable. USB cable. It's supposed to be two terabytes. So first thing we do is we open it up. Opened up. Now, ooh, it's a nice little keychain, and it looks kind of heavy duty. Look how tiny this thing is. They're claiming it's two terabytes. It's ridiculous. So, um, plug it in my computer. All righty. Folder is empty. Um, and sync it? No. Sync external hard drives. Hmm. So, first of all, we're going to just, we just make sure, okay, no. Hidden items, view, hidden items. Okay, so there, yep, there is nothing on this drive, which is good to know that. So, going back, I have this program called H2Test. H2Test. I'm going to do it in English. Select the target drive. It's the USB drive, the F. And actually, let's see, first of all, on the computer, okay. It says 1.9 terabytes. See that? It, so, you know, yeah, it's reporting that there's about 2 terabytes on there. But do I believe it? No, I don't believe it at all. So let's go back to the pro, that program. F, all available space, 1999934. So the first thing it's going to do once I push this button is it's going to tell me that it doesn't have all of the space available, um, which is kind of normal. Well, a few megabytes off, that's fine. If it was really close to 1.9 terabytes, great, but it's not. So we're going to write and verify. So it's going to put little files onto it. And it's going to take some time. And I'll come right back as soon as it's done. So let's write and verify. See, testing only 199934 megabytes, while the total capacity 199936 megabytes. Therefore, the test will possibly not find all errors. So that's fine. If that was all there, great. But it's not. So we'll find out in just a little bit. So, see, look. Writing. It's writing it going to take some time, which is fine. It's going to take some time. Whoops. Where'd it go? Okay, so it's still there. Um, just to show you that it's writing, it makes these little files on here. H2W. See? It creates the file on there. So, we'll, I'll come back to this in the video in just a moment. Okay, so it's been uh, 37 minutes so far, and uh, we're testing this, this USB cable drive. And so this H2 program um, fills up the drive with files. It write, reads it and writes it and it uh, puts it on there and stuff. Oh, hold on. I want to... I want icons, details, that's how I want it. Okay, so refresh it again. So it's filled it up with 56, 57 of them so far. See? Let's see, 349.92, refresh it, just 727. So right now it's done. 56.6 .6 gigabyte on here and according to the program it's saying just a little bit of it has been used so it's pretending to be a 1.9 terabyte or 2 terabyte drive um, it's still acting like it should but no way is a uh, ten dollar look at this so I found 
one of them online. It's no longer being sold on Amazon. So I found one. Let me bring over the picture here on this website here. Look, so this model number here is the exact number on there. See that? B01, 1KI at the end. It's the exact same one. So um, this site is selling them, claiming it's $180, marked down at $28.42, 84% off, two terabyte flash drive, light VR goggles, USB fan. There's no USB fan on this, but that's, that is what it says on the thing. Um, rescue plan documents will be delivered if your device stops working. Rescue data recovery plan covers new removable flash memory, free shipping in lab if your data isn't recovered. So, yeah, I don't know what that is. But a flash drive that's two terabyte for, for $28 is not legit. It's no way is it legit. Now let's go to Amazon. Two terabyte flash drive. One terabyte. 40 bucks. Is that true? I I doubt it. It might be. SanDisk, 256 gig for $75. I believe that. Look at this one. Two, okay, so this here is a Rocket Nano 2 terabyte drive. It's got a lot of five stars. $300. Look how big that is, as opposed to my, my little dinky thing. It's like this big. It's tiny. Okay, here's another sand disc for $300. Now, this here is the full size of a external hard drive. Let's see, do I have one right around me? I don't. Somewhere else. But um, they're usually about this big, about the size of a... Of a like the laptop hard drive, portable external, two terabytes, 60, $65. And you can get a USB, it's a USB, it's a USB hard drive. Those are legit. But USB flash drives, okay, this is a as legit as you can get probably. $79. Five star. Good price, not sure about the quality. Let's see what they say. Top rated, uh, all reviewers, five star. Let's see, one star. I own a bunch of external USB from various companies. I was excited to get this drive. I promise it speeds up to a thousand megabytes a second. And when I connected my tried copy, I was shocked to see the speeds close to 30 megabytes a second from an NVMe M.2. Okay, he's a speed hog. I tested it with Crystal to Smart. Software 2 was only getting... Okay, so um, speaking of Crystal to Smart, I ran one... I ran Crystal to Smart on my actual hard drive. This is what I get. This is what I get on my hard drive. And we will compare that to the flash drive. So let's just try it right now. Let's just try it. Even though they're writing things to it, let's see what we get. So, yeah, that, when you pop into Google, that ESIN number, Still get a review. Not only does no one make a two terabyte thumb drive as of May 2016. Okay, so that was four years ago. But this silver, sometimes gold swivel model, is one of the most commonly used models. 
to hack and sell as increased capacity drives. Here's a few, few examples of the exact same model being sold with fake capacities. So let's just click on a couple of them to check it out. This one right here is the one. Let's see, page not found on that one. And page not found. So they hope. Let's just check out a couple of these other ones. Bet you they're going to be page not founds. Oh, look at that. So this one actually looks like the one that's in my drive right now. 128 metal swivel. Two ratings. One, one star. Bad sector. It's not good quality. Counterfeit. Fake hack drive. Will not work. You will lose your data. There's a reason a name brand USB drive sells for 30 and this sells for much less. Mm. Yeah. People don't get these drives. Get brand names. Okay, how about the other ones? This one, page not found. You get the dogs. You get the dogs of Amazon. You know you're doing good. Okay, this was another swivel one. 256. Low power consumption. Do, do, do. Currently unavailable. Brand Gina. Gina. Looks just like the one I have. The swivel deal. Um, 43 ratings. Scam, scam. No doubt in my mind this is a scam. Copied 150 gig of data with no reported errors. Okay, 150 gig with no reported errors. Only the first four gig or so could be accessed after. Ah, okay. So that gives me hope that my test won't be running for several days. Because if you look at it, if you look at this right here, the green shows how much has been written to it. It's only done 68 gigs so far. I had seen other reviews, so I was careful to try it. Had I not, I might have lost a huge amount of data. Yeah, people, I'm testing this for you so that you don't put important files onto your flash drives put important files on your flash drives put it away come back a couple years later hoping to get back your pictures your data your videos the things that you really don't want to lose because you backed it up don't do that people don't do that scam scam scams when you see little chinese bags and it's not the China part of it because these flash drives are made in China too. So I'm not speaking bad, bad, bad about there's just there's so many bad ones that say USB cable. And it says on here material of wire. The coat for this product is made from TPE material of environmental spelled wrong protection. Feels good, smooth, wear resisting, flame retarded, non discoloring, and no yellow turning. Period. What's more? Period. It's no harm for children's skin. 24K gold plating copper contact, 24K gold plating plug. The plug was tested with 48 hour salt mist test. And film thicknesses of plating test. What are they saying, people? Here, you can read it yourself. I don't know if you can or not. But it's just mumbo and jumbo. Mumbo, jumbo. Get brand name drives. And not only back it up, but get two brand name drives and back them up twice if it's that important. Or, or or back it up to to an external drive. Right down here, you'll see um, on my computer all the way down here, I'm backing up to a my computer at all times. I'm backing up to the cloud. Back it up to the cloud. Things that are important. Put them on flash drives. Back up, back up, back up. Don't trust these scam drives 
to your stuff. Scam, scam. Very bad product. Locked up. Corrupted my files. I lost valuable customer artwork because of this thing. Horrible lie. Drive is less than 256 megabyte and slow. Bad. Drive crashed. Is there any good ones? Top. Those are top reviews. Oh, here we go. Look, someone did give, okay, a five star. Let's see what they say. Family member asked for the device that would hold her pictures. This filled that request perfectly. Okay, so they put their pictures on it. Ah, oh, can you imagine this person in a couple years going back to their drives and finding out that it actually isn't there? So sad. The product creator brought this it was a little skeptical. The product turned out I had it for a while, still had a lot of storage left. So they're putting things on it but not testing it. Oh people, sad. So yeah, even the top reviews, they they're not commenting on it, but it's those ones that are one star, scam, scam, horrible lie, fake capacity. If you look at ones that are the most recent, those are the most recent ones. Doesn't work, useless, one star, stop working, bogus, stay clear. <sighs> Hopefully I'm making my point, people. Hopefully I'm making my point. So let's go back and see. It's up to 74 refresh it so you yeah, see like a 73 it's up to 72.4 gigs of data that it's putting on there now this is just junk files junk files on them um, so it looks like if I if it keeps going it would take 21 hours to do. I'm not going to be running this for 21 hours. Maybe I am. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but we'll come back to this video in just a little bit. So I'm going to stop this video and you'll come back to it later. Later. Hey, another quick update. It's now been five hours and 23 minutes and it's done. About 529 gig. Look, see, let's refresh this page. Refresh. Okay, refresh the page. And properties. It's 517 gig. Other people have complained that their drives get hot. This My drive is not hot. It's still in there. Taking five hours, over five hours. Um, no warning. There's just this warning here that only part of it is being tested, but that's like almost two terabytes. Is this really going to be a two terabyte? I really don't think so still. But look how far it's gone. It's going to take another 14 hours. So um, we shall see. Okay. Later. Okay, people. So it's been over 12 hours. As you can see here, 12 hours, 18 minutes. And still, it's only about a third of the way done. So it says it's got another eight hours to go, which is probably not true. Um, but just to show you what I'm dealing with, I've tried a few things. So here we go. So as you see, it produced a lot of these H2W files. A lot of them making more so these h2w files yeah i know you probably see that i had a bunch of other things on there now I'll show you that in just a moment okay so move it over so you can see i selected 1172 of them properties 1.14 terabytes of these H2W files. Okay, but what I did is I put on some uh, MP4s. And just to show you, so here 
on another on a real hard drive that I have connected to this computer. <laughs> um, okay, just to show you, I took some of my videos that I have. Um, we got book profits, Ken and Gaither. So let's look at book profits. This right here is still on the bad two terabyte drive that I have in there. So the book profits and my video is right here. So we're going to go up to book profits just to show you. So that plays wherever I go because that was on a real hard drive. Just disregard that website. I'm not promoting it in any way. Don't pay attention to that guy. Just, okay, so just showing you that. And also WP, I'm just taking any of these WPs, this one here, this 508 one, which is Holy Ghost Reborn. Just to show you that it plays perfectly well from my Easy Store. See? So that looks, that looks great. So now on the hard drive here, the book profits, say clicking on it, pulls up the thingy, then watch right happens right here. Watch, 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 watch. Just a moment. It's trying to play it. <sighs> Windows cannot play the file. The file is not supported. Huh. And it's the same size, supposedly, but the file is totally corrupted. And then that uh, the WP, Holy Ghost Reborn one, here we go. Same size, supposedly, but trying to play it off the drive. Nope, cannot play. Then what I did is I took a bunch of picture files that I had and didn't copy, they copied over the, the directory structure, but didn't copy, it said it was copying the pictures, but they're now gone. That's interesting. It did have them in there for a little bit. Now they're totally gone. Wow, that's interesting, because I did copy them over, just to show you. I'm going to delete these for a moment. Delete. Okay. So, now I'm going to go back to that directory here on my, my good external hard drive that I have. Pictures. This one here, 2017-09. I have no idea what it is. Properties on that one is 860 megs. We're going to copy it. Get rid of this. Then we're going to pop it over here. Paste. Do, 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 do. We're, just, we're going to wait. To let it do it. It says about 60 seconds. So... I've moved over these MP4s, and I have moved them back over to my main hard drive, the C drive, and still, these are no good now. Any file that's on here is corrupted. So this two terabyte, this two terabyte little uh, Chinese cable here, I believe I've I've justified that it is no good. I believe I have determined that. Um, so here, we're just bringing over the pictures here from that one section. Do, 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 do. Okay. Wonderful. So. Go up to the top. Up, oh, refresh. There it is, 2017 09. 
Now I copied over that whole drive. It was just a movie file. That was weird. Um, let's see what this movie file is. Yeah, Playwood VLC. Move. Oh, VLC went over to my other screen here. Nothing. No, it's not auto playing or nothing. Maybe tell it to open with Windows Media Player. There it is. Cannot play the file. Keeps the size, but does not play the file. So I want pictures. Let's get some real pictures. So from my pictures, this one here, there's pictures. That's definite pictures. So copy this. Copy. And how many, whoops, properties, 513 megs, 143 pictures. Okay. So copy that. Go to my crazy drive. Paste. Now, the speed of the transfer is not horrible going from a flash drive to my regular C drive. That's not that horrible of a, of a speed. It, it's bad, but it's not horrible. Let's give it some time. We want to give these flash drives the benefit of the doubt. By the way, it's uh, still going, creating those test files in there. If you look at to see how much in total, 1.16 terabytes. But at a certain point, it's corrupting the files. So I'm going to have to, it's not telling me where, where it's corrupting the files. There we go. So there's the pictures. Pictures are over here now. Now let's go up here. So this is the one that I didn't delete that video, but now it's gone. Interesting. So here's pictures. Okay, so if we go up here to view, extra large icons, look at this. None of these pictures are giving a, a, pic, a, a, a preview of the pictures. Whoops. Because if you go back, it's 2009, 804. 2009-804. Look, you see you get a preview of all these pictures. But if you go back to here, 2009-804. Okay, so I'm just going to click on one of these and see what happens. The picture viewer. Looks like we don't support this file format. JPEG. Look at that. It doesn't support any of them. None of these pictures are valid. Now I'm going to go to details, see if there's any pictures that are of a different type. Now, so the size is there. Here's a smaller one. Nope. Let's try Urfin View. Urfin View is a great picture program. All right, so that was interesting. Okay, it went over to my other screen, but I got to show you what happened. Can't read file header, unknown file format, empty or damaged file, or file not found. Empty. These are empty files. So they're holding them, but then it's not there. So let me just see here for a moment how many there are. 
properties. There's 143 picture files. Okay, we're going to get out of here for a moment. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Still creating more files in there. It said 143 in there. As you saw, this one vanished. I'm going to go down to the video files again. Whoops. Details. video files. Let me try to play one of those in Earth View. Oh, you can't. You can play it in photos. No, can't open the file. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the pictures. There were 143. Yeah, they're still there, but they're empty. They're they're not really there. So, person, people, I, I just want to explain something to you. Let's just say these pictures were something that were really memorable to you, sentimental and memorable. Would you trust a cheap flash drive? from China on your memories, don't. Spend a little bit more, just a couple dollars more, and get a legit one, and check it, and back it up somewhere else also. Don't trust a flash drive to your memories. Put it on a couple different places. You can keep it on a flash drive for a little bit, transferring it from one place to another, but don't Store your memories on a flash drive. Because if a magnet would buy here, it would probably wipe it off too. So, yeah. I don't know what to do about this. Because it usually when something's bad like this, it's after 16, after 16 gig or something like that, it'll tell you it's not being good anymore. That's crazy. At what point is it going back around? Is it a 4 gig? Is it a 16 gig? Or 2 gig? I don't know. But you can't trust this drive, obviously. It's sad. People are buying these drives on Amazon and other places. And they're getting scammed. Don't do it, people. Don't buy it. It's not worth it. Okay. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to let this one go, but I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer. Okay, people. So, this little drive here, this two terabyte drive, is definitely not two terabytes. Um, not 1.9, not 1. Point anything. Um, I tried putting some files on it, some movie files. I was able to put a 3 gig file on it and it played fine. So it cannot be trusted past 4 gigs. So it's probably just a 4 gigger. But don't use cheap Chinese drives, people. Don't do it. So now... I'm going to use this little Chinese drive. Test this baby out. Okay. Come on. Yeah. So. It says, it says 128 gig on it. I'm going to put it in. Hope it doesn't destroy my computer.
It says 117. And it's starting to do something here. Hold on, hold on. Double check, make sure that there's really nothing in it. No hidden files. Okay, there's no hidden files. Good. So let me get that program back. Where'd it go? Uh, download stage two test. H2 test, English, select target, F drive, all space, write and verify. Okay, so we're going to run this one and see and hope for a better outcome. Um, it's not going to be 117 gig. There's no way. No way. The back of this says metal USB 2.0 flash drive. Has a design on there. See? But whenever they come like this, you know you're not getting a good one. So we'll just let it go. And Let's see what's what we got going on here. So yeah, we got it's building that. It's building it. But it's being dreadfully slow. That we do see. It's gonna be very slow. So this will probably be an all-night project for it. Because it says well, four hours. It's ten o'clock at night now. I'm not gonna be here for four hours. We'll just see how it does in the morning. Okay. Okay, people. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Don't know. Don't know if you hear me or not. Hello. 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 So, I let this run all last night. It's now early in the morning, and I'm about to go to yard sales. But look, see, it says it's run for nine hours and twenty-six minutes and forty-one seconds. Um, it says it only has forty-three minutes to go. But as you see, it's not even halfway done. And if we go to the, the F drive, we go to the F drive and show you. Here we go. We only got to see 108 of those files, properties, 108 gig. I sincerely doubt that this is going to be 128. I sincerely doubt it's actually going to work. But you just never know. Um, I guess every once in a while, maybe they might make a good one. But it's, you know, when it comes in little bags like this from Amazon or eBay or Mercari or you know, just anywhere. I wouldn't even buy these at a buck each and selling them on weird sites like that. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, people. Just get the real name brand ones. Get the name brand ones. You save, you save your data on them, but don't trust important stuff on them. Back up your important stuff. So, we're just going to leave this going. Um, I don't feel it being hot or anything like that. I left it on all night. Um, and now I'm going out yard selling. So we'll come back later and see what happens with it. As you see, there's no errors right here. So. Okay. Later. Okay. Okay. So I'm back from my yard selling. Um, so it's gone for 10 hours and 13 minutes. And as you see, it's verifying right there. So first time I'm seeing the verifying. So three hours and 42 minutes of verifying. So it took seven hours of writing before I started doing the verifying. Interesting. And an hour and a half left remaining. But this is what I wanted to see right here. See that? The media is likely to be defective. 15.2 gig are okay. 65 gig of data lost. So you could treat this as a 15.2 gigabyte uh, flash drive, which I actually have some projects I'm planning to do with it. Um, I have a little mini laptop 
that I want to see if I could put on uh, uh, a Linux operating system and it needed something over 8 gigs. So that might work for that. Um, and I could just dedicate the drive for that. So it obviously is not 128 gig, like it said, 117 gig or 103 gig. It's not that. See, let's go into that just to show you. Um, let's see, where is it? Okay, there it is. So properties. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay, there it is. It's at 32 gig, and now it's at 117 gig. That is interesting. Um, 117 gig is written on there right now. But it's saying 15 gig is okay. So I could probably just treat this as a 15 gigger, and... Uh, it might be fine, but like I say, people, don't trust these drives. Don't trust them. Um, once, if you ever do get stuck with some of these drives, yeah, you, know, you could do what I'm doing. If you, I have several dozen flash drives um, from like auction lots and stuff, I just keep them. So use them for all kinds of stuff. This is very interesting where it talks about. changed stuff and overwritten stuff that's interesting 15.2 are okay but 65.2 gig data lost so I'm gonna stop it and just to show you the drive which one I'm talking about it's been a long time for me um, it's been a couple days that I'm doing this project but this video is gonna be pretty short it's this little drive like this see that it is metal stainless steel brushed metal it says 128 gig on it with a nice little rainbow seal but as you know it's not so I'm gonna just delete everything that's on it and uh, treat it as a 15 gigger 12 gig or whatever. I'll treat it as whatever. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I've got, I still got the, um, the SD card ones to test. So we'll test the SD cards, which I was just thinking I don't really have something to put it on my computer with, but I do. I have got these little guys that are flash drives that you put SD cards in to test them. So. Alrighty, so I will do that next. So let's stop the video. Back. So we got this SD card here. Now, I love how they have these little, so they got the Chinese little container there. It says, Sorry, so memory card standard packaging. Any kind of weird name brand, um, it's not anything like that. So I don't need the adapter just now. Um, I would say that these adapters are okay. Um, but really, how much space is on this drive? It says 128 gig micro SD. Is it? I don't trust it. So I put it in the little hotchkey. And we shall see what we get. Okay, my computer made the doot doot loot. And F drive. So let me just see here. Okay, it's reporting that it's 124. No, that's fine if it was legit. If, a, if get 128. And it says 124. That that's fine. I got no problem with that. And it's an empty drive. Hidden hidden items. There's no hidden items. 
Yeah. Sometimes these uh, Chinese fake drives hide really bad stuff on them. So now we're going to select target, F, OK, all available space, write and verify. Testing only 127, 967 megabytes of the total, 127, 968. OK, you do that. All righty, there it goes. 14, OK, so look, see, it's going about 11 megabytes a second, which is pretty decent. Um, and we shall see. We shall see if this is a good drive or not. I don't think it's going to be. I really don't. But we shall see. I get, my general opinion is never get these kind of drives. It's not worth it. Um, pay a couple extra dollars and get drives that are worth it. Okay. So, so I'm a little perplexed on this one. I put in the, uh, the S, micro SD card into that little flash drive thing. The cat's going to attack me here. Um, so it said it was 128 megabytes. Oh, megabyte, gigabytes. Properties. So we're up to about 20 or so here. And um, I put a MP4 on it, a video. And I believe it'll probably play that video. At least it was playing the video just up to a moment ago. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so that's working. But then um, I put out a bunch of music things. When you put the music, it made some of the MP4s, MP3s vanish. Um, but then they're there. Okay, so let's play. try to play one. And... Encountered a problem. So it's getting into areas on the on the SD card that are not good. So clearly this is a bad SD card. Like I said, it's only at 24 gigs. So I would say about 16 is good. Maybe a little bit more than 16 gigs are good. So, you know, that's not too bad. It's kind of like kinda like this drive here. It says it was 128, and it's really only 16. So, yeah. There you have it. Don't use Chinese fake flash drives. Right, Kitty? She agrees. Okay. Let's try another one. So... I believe I have shown you that getting counterfeit fake USB flash drives is useless. Don't do it. Um, get Spend a couple extra for it. And uh, look at this. So fake USB drives. Fake drives are typically something like 2, 4, 8, or 16. So you can start with a percentage that will cover some or all those capacities. Data already on the drive is not overwritten, but new data is added to fill the selected amount. And so up to that 24816, they'll be good. But after that, it'll be bad. So that's why if you put a video on the first part of the drive, it will probably go up to the 8 gig or the 16 gig. But then after that, when you put the music and other things on that, it won't read them. So there's so much on there about fake drives all over the Internet. So there you go. There you have it. Um, I believe I've checked out all my ones that I was going to check on. Um, it's taken me several days to do this video because the amount of time it takes to check them takes a long time. But I've been out doing other things. And now this cat is on me. She's a silly kitty. Um, but if I try to do something with the cat... On the floor, she'll attack my hands and scratch me up, and that's not good. So, take care, people. Avoid flake, fi flake, yeah, flaky flash drives. 
um, avoid them. Don't get them. Spend a couple extra dollars for a real good one. Okay? Take care. Bye.